and you see of the 12 bombs, one comes off slick, which didn't go off, and then 11, which you see circled, they're sc scattered out in about a 700 foot by uh, 300 foot pattern. They would go ahead and uh, take out the IL-76s on the ramp at the Tripoli airport. And then you see a rear view of them hitting the targets. And then after the mission, we would, uh, the uh, strike force would, would fly out into the Gulf and be protected by the Navy in case someone was chasing you. And then right on out the same way we came in with a couple of refuelings on the way home. What you like to see is every single airplane hit every single target uh, with perfect footage of the film. Well, that just doesn't happen. Uh, so we had a lot of folks that, um, that had to pull off to avoid uh, collateral damage. We had people with airplane problems. And a lot of folks have said, well, you, the airplane just didn't hold up and it was problems and it, was, uh, it didn't do the mission as, as well as uh, expected. Well, the mission was to have visible damage on three targets. You just saw very, very vivid visible damage on two, and, and there was another tape of the third which um, shows uh, the swimming pool with the water draining out of it. That was the, the mission, and that's all that counts, is if you can show that you have destroyed or had visible damage on those three targets that were tied to the terrorism activities. And with those tapes, it's obvious that the mission was accomplished. And, and that's the overall uh, good part, is that it was accomplished. It was accomplished by the F-111, an old aircraft. The aircraft is still accomplishing those type of missions. I think that the F-111F, the one with the laser capability, uh, will be with us for quite a while. And hopefully, uh, my own biases are that we get those kind of capabilities uh, tested and worked into some of our newer airplanes, especially ones that we can put on aircraft carriers and project that kind of precision power. Robert McNamara's dream of a fighter bomber for both Air Force and Navy use never came true. But the plane he approved has, over the years, become the finest tactical and strategic bombing aircraft of its kind. And now, the versatile airframe also serves in the vital airborne electronics warfare role. F-111's standout performance in Vietnam, Libya, Panama, and the Persian Gulf has more than vindicated its once controversial design. Its bold swing wing is now an accepted feature of high-performance aircraft, and its high-speed terrain-following capabilities have earned it acclaim as the best low-level strike plane in the world. As technology has changed, this versatile airframe has changed with it. The F-111 has become a crucial part of American air defense. <laughs>